All right, we are in rapid prototyping session with Ryan and Jing. And Ryan, you're about to show off three panel design mocks for virtual meet. What you got? All right, so yeah, just, you know, right now we only have this middle section with the actual chat. And I'm starting to think about how we, we can implement the three panel design into what we currently have. So um, I have a few options for this, and I'd like some feedback on it. First one would be like a chat interface um, on the left here. I guess I'll just start with the left part of the three panels here. So the left one is kind of the navigation to see all the different chats you've been interacting with or the, the virtual means you've been interacting with. So in this first state, it would start closed. And then if you hover over, it would kind of open up into this bigger panel like this that shows when you last interacted with the virtual means. So yes, I am reusing some of these pictures, but you would you know imagine that they'd be different virtual means here. Um, and there would also be grouped virtual me. So if you're um, interacting with the Stelly GraphQL one, it would probably show two or three profile pictures here on this chat or something like that. But um, it would look something like this. The feedback I want is like, how should the closed state look? So on this one, I have the profile picture showing like this, but I also create a mock-up where maybe it's not showing mm. the profile pictures. It would just be like this um, arrow with the chat icon or you would click it or, or hover over it to open it. Mm -hmm. The reason I did this version instead is because this is looking a little bit busy. Yeah. You know, you'd have all these different profile pictures here on the one you're actually interacting with. And then these, uh, you know, mm -hmm. kind of draw the eye over there a little bit. So if there's a way that we can make it less eye catching, but still show that it's there, um, mm -hmm. would love some feedback on that. And then obviously you'd be able to click whichever one you want to go into and it would show your chat history with that virtual me. And then you could chat with that one as well. Uh, going to the third panel, the right side, this is where you would click the reference within the chat like this. And then it would pop open on the right for, for one message or one sentence, there might be multiple tiles that make up that sentence if I remember correctly. So mm -hmm. this would kind of be a list of the different tiles mm -hmm. and I don't have it in this screenshot, but it would highlight the part of the original source that that sentence came from. Can you actually zoom and in? And obviously, that? can you zoom into that third panel there? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. So imagine so, if, if let me just like what I hear you saying is like it's showing that like it was this piece of like this would be highlighted in blue here and maybe and the one below would be a different sentence that's highlighted. But it's basically this was the exact source raw source content that the virtual means response came from is what you're saying. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And I could see a more complicated version of this where the top part up here would, you know, have like dot, 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 and then it would have maybe right. one sentence and then the highlighted part, one sentence and then dot, dot, dot. And you could expand and yep. above, uh, above and below that just the source content that makes up that part. But um, yeah, something like that, just to kind of draw the user's eye into what part is actually making up that that response can you zoom out a little bit and go to the the middle panel here and then zoom into the middle panel a bit oh, yeah per perfect so like one thing that i'd also love to get some feedback on like right now you're showing all the contributors up here and i agree that it's busy with all these virtual means here etc and one idea might be to not show everybody up here but to actually show like the circle of the person who's talking and so maybe it says there's still 54 contributors. Maybe I can expand this to see them all or something. But really what I'm seeing is I'm seeing like, you know, this is a specific person in here and they are saying a thing. And it's like, oh, it's that person saying that thing. And that's where I'm starting to, where it's starting to come alive with the actual people who have the knowledge that are sharing it. So I don't know if you have a, a thoughts or opinions about that or questions about that. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. You um, you could play around with that, and then we can also get feed, feedback from people around. Sure. There. So yeah, yep. I, I guess that's the really big question here. Is we've heard a lot of you say you're looking for the ability to inspect the actual content, and that's what we're showing here. Is you can click in one of the footnotes, and it opens up this third panel, which gives you the actual content. Is that what you're looking for? Would be great to understand. Perfect. Cool. All right. Thank you for that, Ryan. I'll stop the video yep. here.